Hey you guys, it's Apostle Michelle. I hope you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to do a video for you guys today. This is a video I got a message from um, a young lady earlier and she was, you know, telling me about some stuff that she has been going through. And so what I heard the Lord say was um, it was a curse of destruction on her life. And I have had this curse actually on my life a couple of times. Um, and I had to get it removed, but what this curse does, it basically tries to destroy your whole life. Um, and a lot of people, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's probably a hundred percent of people that experience being homeless, have this curse on their life where everything that you're trying to do falls apart. Um, and it basically destroys your finances relationships just you know it, it's just it just tries to destroy you period and so like I said I've had it on my life before I had to get it off <laughs> and um and the Lord actually told me it that's what it was but I'll share with you things that actually brings this type of curse on us so when you get it off if you have it on your life when you get it off you can avoid getting it back on you okay because of certain sins uh, that brings this curse upon us. Um, of course, any type of, you know, like if your parents dedicating you to the devil or, you know, occult, you know, uh, practices and stuff like that, that's definitely going to bring this type of curse upon you. But specific sins that we can do are things like if you have a problem with people in authority, um, if you have a problem with like laws, breaking laws, stuff like that, you know, you just don't want to um, submit to anyone that's in authority. If you have problems with that, honoring people that's in authority, submitting to them, if you disrespect them, dishonor them, if you have that type of attitude, this type of curse can come on your life. And whenever this curse comes on your life, you're going to start losing everything, okay? Everything will seem like it's going good, you know? You got this new job and everything is just going great. You got this new relationship and then everything starts falling apart. You know, it could be like after you've been there for a while or been in this relationship for a while, everything just starts falling apart. Finances, things just start drying up. Every time money is coming in, it's just, just going out. Like you're like, where's all my finances? going until this curse totally destroys your finances everything okay that's why it's called a curse of destruction because it destroys everything and so like I was saying sins that can actually cause this type of curse to come upon us if you have problems with uh, people who are in honor if you I mean people who are you know that you're supposed to honor people who are in authority basically like your parents, if you have ever disrespected your parents, um, if you have unforgiveness in your heart towards your parents, if you have fought your parents, let's say if your parents were abusive parents and you fought them because they were abusing you, that's still dishonor. Um, and let's say if anyone that's in authority over you you reject the authority, you dishonor them, you disrespect them, you gossip about them, um, you, you know, breaking the laws, like stuff like that, like you don't have respect or honor for authority, people in authority, any of that. Um, that can bring this type of curse upon you. The Bible actually talks about honoring your mother and your father you know, basically, so you will have a longer life because if you don't, what that does, this curse is going to come upon you and it will even shorten your days if you don't honor your parents. Also, something else he did say is if you, like, if you have been in a marriage and you don't honor your spouse, that can be anything. You know, um, maybe you can go out and commit adultery. Maybe you can secretly have lustful thoughts in your heart towards someone. Uh, maybe you can dishonor them, belittle them, you know, dog them out, make them feel like they're nothing, like just dishonoring your spouse, someone that you entered into a covenant with, okay? That type of curse can come upon you because of that. So what we have to do if we have did any of those things if you are a person that likes to fight and you like to debate, 
um, things and then you may have an issue with this. Uh, if you have arrogance also and pride and you feel like you know everything, you know more than your parents, you know more than your church leaders, you know more than people that's in authority um, and you don't want to, you know, uh, submit to their leadership, whatever, you don't want to submit to your parents, um, you feel like they're your equal and just so we all know our parents will never be our equals, okay? That's not the way they were created. Parents are never equal to their children. They have an authority from God and they always have that authority. And so, and so what we want to do is first thing we want to do, if we disrespected anyone in authority, first thing you want to do is repent for dishonoring them, disrespecting them. Um, you want to repent for gossip, whatever you said, slander, whatever you said. If um, you want to ask the Lord to forgive you for doing that and the way you want to ask him, don't, don't pray like this. Don't say, Heavenly Father, I ask that you forgive me if I ever disrespected anyone in the authority. You don't want to say if. You want to say, Heavenly Father, I ask that you forgive me for disrespecting uh, my parents. I ask that you forgive me for disrespecting um, a specific person that uh, was placed in authority over me. Um, I ask that you forgive me for disrespecting, dishonoring the specific person that I submitted to their authority. I ask that you forgive me for dishonoring my wife by flirting with other women behind her back or vice versa, you know, with women. You flirting with another man behind your husband's back or talking, you know, negative things about your husband to your friends. Um, or your family members, any of that, because you're dishonoring, disrespecting the person that you're married to or your parents, you know, you're talking junk about your parents behind their back to your friends, um, anything like that. You want to ask the Lord to forgive you for doing that. And I know some people might say, well, my parents was terrible, you know, you just don't understand. But still, um, we still have to honor them regardless but you do want to ask the Lord to forgive you for doing whatever you did if you don't remember what you did or anything specific ask the Holy Spirit to bring back to your remembrance things that you've done to dishonor people that have been in authority over you and if you don't know who has been in authority over you like a lot of people may not understand that when you submit to a church you submit to that leadership in the church the pastor so if he starts acting crazy and you're like, hey, this guy is crazy and, you know, you leave in a bad way, you know, you, you, you know, you tell him about himself and you leave. You got to do that the right way because you submit it to that pastor's authority. So um, you want to do it the right way when you're leaving. OK, and let God take care of that. OK, and so, like I said, if it's a relationship, a husband, wife. Um, you also may need to repent of unforgiveness in your heart towards that person because unforgiveness can be the root of the reason why we're dishonoring people. If you had church hurt and now, you know, you, you just don't have no respect for church leaders, you know, you talk about them, you belittle them, you do all of the stuff against them. You want to check your heart for unforgiveness. Did something happen um, when you was at a church and you got hurt really really bad now you just don't have no honor for leaders in church i met people that um they actually specifically said that you know they just don't have no respect for church leaders um and they you know speak against them pretty you know um badly but let's say if uh, that's something that you've done check your heart for unforgiveness something that happened to you in a church um Forgive the people, forgive the person that did that to you in the church. If it was multiple people, sometimes it's multiple people that they experience church hurt from. Ask the Lord to forgive you for allowing unforgiveness to stay in your heart towards those people because you're bringing it, you know, from th those situations happen. Now you're bringing it over into your life. This has caused you to be a certain way towards church leaders because that door was open and that unforgiveness came in and it's still there. The offense, <clears throat> the offense is still there. Um, the pain is still there. The hurt that you went through is still there because now that's a part of your life. That's the way you see 
um, I'm not going to respect these people, you know, they're this, they're that, okay? So examine your heart for unforgiveness. Unforgiveness towards your parents. If they hurt you, they did this, they abandoned you. My mom abandoned me and left me to be raised by my grandparents. So I have to, let me put my puppy down, <laughs> she's distracting me. Um, I have to let that go. I have to forgive her. I have to let all the pain and everything that I experienced from that, I have to let it go. The Lord actually showed me a vision a long time ago. He showed me a vision of this child. And this child, it was me. It was me when I was a little girl. And I saw a vision of me. And I was in heaven with the Lord. And I was sitting by him. And I was looking in his seat. You know his seat? Um, I was looking in it, you know. And I was like, what am I thinking? You know, I saw myself looking at it and it looked like I was thinking. And I asked the Lord what I was thinking. And he said that um, I was wondering why my mom didn't love me as a child. You know, I was wanting her to love me. I was wondering why she didn't love me. You know, and we may have that hurt and all of that stuff in our heart still because of something that a, a parent um, has done to us. So we want to make sure we forgive that parent, that person for whatever they did because the unforgiveness will be in there, the offense will be in there, the hurt, the pain, all of that stuff will be in there until it's cast out. And so we want to repent. Heavenly Father, I ask that you forgive me for allowing unforgiveness to enter into my heart towards my mother because of what she did to me. She abandoned me. She hurt me. Um... You know, she didn't love me, whatever it is. So you want to be specific. Just be honest with the Lord. He already knows everything. So just be honest with him and just let him know you want forgiveness for allowing that to enter into your heart. And after that, um, you guys know the basic steps of deliverance that I share with you guys um, on this channel is first you want to repent like we just did. Next thing, if it's something that's with a parent, something that you've been struggling with for a long, 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 long time. You want to definitely go in and start renouncing that because renouncing it is going to do a lot of stuff in the spiritual realm. Um, it's going to remove a lot of layers. And so you want to renounce unforgiveness. And also I want to do a separate video about agreements. And so I'll do a separate video about that. But you want to renounce unforgiveness. And then um, when you're renouncing it, set your timer for 10 minutes and go in and renounce it for 10 minutes. You're probably going to have to do it a lot longer, but 10 minutes minimum. And because that's going to just remove a lot of the bondage that the enemy has on us. And you want to start commanding it to leave your heart. Um, and so after you have renounced it, you want to command unforgiveness to leave your heart in Jesus name. Command offense to leave your heart in Jesus name. Command um, everything that you feel, the hurt, the pain, everything you feel, um, but just command unforgiveness first for a while until you feel it leave. That can take time. You may have to work on it for some days um, until whenever you think about your parent or your spouse, your ex, whoever it is, you don't feel no offense you don't feel nothing negative when you think about them if you think about them now you still feel something keep commanding it to go i commend unforgiveness i command you to leave my heart in jesus name i cast you out of my heart in jesus name so you want to keep doing it until when you think about that person you don't feel nothing negative that's when it's gone um but what you want to do after that is say heavenly father i ask that you remove the curse of destruction from my life in Jesus name that simple um, but you have to go through the process and repent um, that's really really important and ask him to help you to honor people that he has put in authority over you and you know what the best thing to do this is what I try to do is just honor all people all people respect them and honor them you know, um, treat them, treat them the best possible way you can treat them, even when they're being crazy. Let them be crazy. Let them, you know, op, you know, use their free will. If they want to be crazy, that's their free will to be crazy. And you know, but don't let it affect you. Don't let it cause you to sin. Don't let it allow things to get into your heart. If it does get in your heart, 
just repent. Just repent, Heavenly Father. I ask that you forgive me for allowing unforgiveness to get into my heart, Lord, because they said that. Please forgive me, Lord. And I ask, you know, and then remove it. So you may have to do this your whole life, you know, especially with unforgiveness. It's something that we have to definitely walk in because um, the enemy is going to always attack us through people. But those are simple things. Um, like I said, make sure you ask the Lord to help you to respect and honor people. Um, and something else, I do have a video that I talk about honor, a revelation God gave me about honor. Um, I'll try to link it here somewhere. Um, but it's a revelation about honor, how if we honor people, God will honor us. And so we definitely want the Lord to honor us because he will start promoting us and elevating us and doing a lot of things. Stop it, you guys. Hey, come here. This type of curse of destruction being on us, like I was saying earlier, pride and arrogance could call this, cause this curse to be upon us because we feel like we're higher than people God has placed an authority over us. Like they're an authority over us, but we feel like we're uh, up here and they're underneath us, you know? Because when you have pride and arrogance, you're above everybody else. Nobody's as smart as you. Nobody, you know, everybody's down here and they're second to you, you know? And so that will definitely cause a curse of destruction to be on your life. And then all of a sudden pride comes before the fall. All of a sudden you're homeless, you know, you're, you can't, you know, everything is just gone. Your life is just terrible at that. So if you're struggling with pride, work on getting rid of that because that, that spirit totally destroys us. It destroys everything. Um, and arrogance will destroy things too. Like you really have to take care of both of those and get those things off of your life. And like I said, you can repent, ask the Lord to forgive you for allowing pride to enter into your life. Go through the same thing. Start going in, renouncing it for 10 minutes or longer, um, and then cast it out for a long time until you can think about people and not see yourself higher than them. If you can see yourself lower than somebody, you know, like think about your parents or somebody like that. If you can see yourself lower than that person, and then you remove pride. But if you kind of see yourself even equal to them, you know, then it's still there. <laughs> so work on it. But um, that's my video um, today about the curse of destruction. Like I said, I've had it on my life a couple of times. Um, the Lord revealed it to me. A couple of situations I did. One time specifically when I um, I dishonored my first pastor. My when I, you know, I was a brand new Christian, so I didn't know about honor. And I didn't know about um, stuff like that. So I kind of disrespected him. And that curse came upon me. Finances dried up. I mean, I knew something was wrong. Stop, y'all. And so, but um, you want to get it off. It's definitely... Stop it. <laughs> my new puppy is biting my feet. Razor, razor sharp teeth. And so, um, but yes, yeah, so to check pride, um, arrogance, and uh, remove those things. All right, y'all. So I wanted to do that video um, specifically um, because, like I said, um, I know a lot of people are being attack with it and I work at a homeless shelter so when I'm actually seeing a lot of the people that's in that shelter I can see they have this curse on their life because they don't have no respect for authority laws none of that um you know you can see it and so I'm like oh I mean I wish I could minister to them deliverance but you know one thing I can do is just be a light there and try to encourage them but I see it a lot and um you know, the enemy's trying to destroy our life completely so that we can blame God for all the bad stuff that's going on and not actually understanding how um, these things work. But, all right, you guys, so that's something that you can work on if you feel like you are um, you might have this curse on your life. And like I said, if you, in the future, if stuff should start drying up, it could be maybe check and see if you did something uh, against somebody that, <laughs> that's in authority over you, you know? But, all right, you guys, I'll go ahead and let you go.